So now that we have the resources in room B, let's go to naming just as we did in room A, but notice everything shows up together because all partitions are showing. But what I can do, since I've already named room A, I can now just name room B. This is where we can utilize the naming tool since we have all these table mics that'll pretty much be the same thing except just different numbers. So what I can do is now go to table mics and start with the base number one and hit okay. So now I have them all listed and very easily to do is just call them table mics one through six. But remember we also had a handheld and what I'll do is just call him handheld two since I already have one in room A and I'll call this lavalier two. And that way we have uh, everything named in the mics in that area. The dialog 20, since I'm gonna use this for the P-Link, I'll just call this dialog 20 and I'll call this the handheld because it's on, I'm gonna be on uh, channel one and then channel two would be the lavalier. All right, so that's how we can name that. I'll keep the USBs like they are, and we also have VoIP ceiling speakers. So I will call this uh, ceiling speakers, uh, and I'll just call this room B just to keep it straight from the first room. All right, so that's how we can do naming. Another feature I want to talk about is channel groups. If you go under channel groups, you'll notice I can add a group, and this is we'll call this one table mics. So in this case, I could actually have a group that is called table mics and all I have to do is just designate who they actually are. So you can have numerous groups here. I could have all mics or just table mics or only lavaliers, handhelds, whatever you want it to be. But in some cases this works out really well, especially if you want to send commands to a group of devices like table mics to mute them all or unmute them all, or you want to change the the uh, gain structure on a certain mic. Uh, you can just do it to the whole group. So it's, especially if it's devices that are all the same type of mic. So this works out really well. You can do mixer groups, maybe from a, uh, a processing block, or you can also create a group for outputs for either speakers or uh, ceiling speakers and things like that. So that's how you could uh, utilize these different groups. Last part, I'll make this kind of quick uh, since you saw this in the previous module. But now in room B, so notice I'm in room A on the matrix view. If I go to room B, I now will see how I want to make all my cross points for this. But what makes this real nice, since I have table mics as a group, I can now say I want all the table mics to go to the far end on USB and VoIP. So now I want those to be gated. So notice what happens if I select this, it selects the whole group. So it makes it real easy to uh, put together. Same thing with a handheld, same thing with the lavalier. And then what you also can do, let's just say I wanted uh, my USB, I want to be able to hear that audio and avoid calls, I want to be able to hear that audio through the ceiling speakers. But my USB needs to go to the VoIP and uh, my left and right needs to go to the VoIP just in case there was a different channel there. And also my VoIP calls need to go to both channels of USB. So all my cross points would be designated here. But notice there's one more piece. It is the dialog 20. We did put that into the system, uh, but I don't want to utilize this. So if you notice, here's the properties of the dialog 20. There is no AEC, there is no noise canceling, there's no filters. This is just basically a digital audio coming from the P-Link from that dialog 20. So this, you only see gating and muting and some gain that you could adjust if you wanted to. But one thing I want you to see here is if you look at the lavalier and the handheld, this would be if they were just going directly into the back of the mixer. So I have to connect these to the actual dialog 20 on the P-Link. So if I connect this, uh, select the handheld. Notice the connector here. This connector means I'm going directly into the back of the mixer. But what I'm going to do is do a drop down and say I want to connect it to the dialog 20 on the P-Link. So when I do that, notice there is a little uh, microphone that shows up there. And that means that is a uh, dialog 20 P-Link device. So if I go to the lavalier, same thing. I would now drop this down to the lavalier 
And now both of these mics are set up to be, uh, to utilize AEC, noise canceling, filters, muting, uh, and gating. All the information is going to be there for these particular mics because uh, I now have it connected to the Dialog 20 on the P-Link. Notice in this case, if I do connect those, I don't really have to make any cross points for the Dialog 20 part of it because all I'm doing is when I connect to that, it's giving me at zero here, right at uh, uh, maximum uh, output for those particular devices. But then I could adjust the handheld and lavalier individually with the the fine game portion of this. The coarse game, when we get live with this, I'll show this live, uh, won't really have anything to do with it because I'm already getting the digital signal coming in. But I could adjust the fine game portion of that. So that's how you would uh, name this, this room using the naming tool, also using channel groups, and also how to connect those microphones, wireless microphones to the Dialog 20 and be able to use those features within AEC filter, noise canceling, and things like that.